I want to tell you everything you need to know about Integra Credit Personal Loans. Integra Credit claims that they launched their company in order to disrupt the subprime lending market. They were founded in Chicago in 2014, so they're really not that old. They use a model where they are the brand, but the actual lending is done by either CC Bank or Tab Bank. The amounts, terms, and APR of their loans depend on the state in which you live. So the first thing to acknowledge is which states they operate in. They offer lending products in these 25 states. They largely stay out of the Atlantic Northeast, but they also have a smattering of states throughout the country where they do not lend. In all of these states, their maximum loan amount is $3,000. So if you are looking for more money than that, Integra Credit is not a good option for you. If you are looking for just a little bit of money, their most common minimum loan amount is $500. These are the states that offer as little as $500. Indiana's minimum is $700. New Mexico's minimum is $1,000. Minnesota's is $1,500 and California's is $2,600. The term length of their loans has also depended on the state in which you live. The most common terms are between 12 and 21 months. Of course, you never want to take 12 months to pay back a loan as small as $500 or even $1,000. And frankly, you probably never want to take an Integra loan for nearly two years. I'll discuss why in a little later. You will want to pay the loan back early. That means making extra principal payments in the first few months of the loan. The problem is the Integra Credit Personal Loans have bi-weekly payments. That means that if you are making an extra payment, they will almost certainly default that payment to paying your next regularly scheduled payment. This is because each statement is posted almost as soon as you make your last payment. You have to go to the trouble of calling them and making sure that any extra payment that you pay is going towards principal and not just your next payment. The primary reason you don't want to have an Integra Credit Personal Loan for more than a year is because they are very expensive. Once again, the APRs will depend on what state you live in. The most common minimum APR is 159%. The most common maximum APR is 224%, but you can see that they will go all the way up to 399%. With APRs this high, you will find that for months your payments will be mostly going towards interest. You will feel like you're not making any progress paying off your loan, and you won't be for a while. That's why it's so crucial that you make extra principal payments in the first few months. Those high APRs also explain who they lend to. Integra Credit will lend to people with poor credit. I'm guessing that the average APR of their borrowers is somewhere in the neighborhood of 580. Of course, they will look at more than just your credit score when deciding whether to lend you money. They will look at your payment history, your debt to income ratio, the amount and type of your income, and other financial information. It is also not uncommon that they will pre-approve you only to deny you when they look more closely at your recent information. Integra Credit will not charge you an origination fee on your loan, but they will charge you late fees. And just like before, the amount of that fee will depend on which state you live in. The most common late fee is $15, which isn't really too bad, but it's really bad luck if you live in Utah where the late fee is twice that. A lot of lenders who cater to people with poor credit won't charge a late fee at all. I think they figure the high interest rate that will continue to accrue on your late amount is punishment enough. Integra Credit will not charge you until you are 10 days past due, though. But at that point, you're only four days away from your next payment. If you start to get behind, it can be a cascade of fees that could get really expensive. Some lenders will give you an APR discount if you sign up for auto pay. Integra Credit is kind of the opposite. Their APRs default to assuming that you do sign up for their electronic debit repayment option. If you opt out of it, your APR will actually be higher. What can you use an Integra Credit personal loan for? Well, Integra Credit won't actually restrict how you use the money. 
Installment loans like this, though, are most often used to cover unavoidable financial emergencies. They are often used to cover a sudden medical or dental bill, a car repair, or to cover a monthly shortfall. You do not want to use one of these loans to cover an expense that you would take significant amount of time to repay because the APRs are so high. Those high APRs are also the reason you would never want to use one of these loans to consolidate credit card debt. Credit card interest rates will definitely be cheaper than this loan. Also, don't use one of these loans for discretionary spending like making an unnecessary purchase or going on a vacation. So let's summarize the personal loans from Integra Credit. First off, they claim to be disrupting the market for subprime personal loans, but they aren't doing anything anyone else in this space isn't doing. And in fact, they fail to offer benefits or features that some of those more established companies do. They generally lend between $500 and $3,000 for terms between 12 and 21 months. But you probably wouldn't want to borrow any more money than you could easily pay back within six months because their APRs are so very high. You will need to make payments every other week. And they do charge a late fee if you fail to make a payment within 10 days of the due date. All in all, I think Integra Credit is a fairly basic lender that charges high APRs and fails to deliver on some of the benefits that other lenders offer. If you have poor credit, need a loan, and have an offer from Integra Credit, you should still shop around before you accept the loan. Lenders in this space all have different lending algorithms. The only way to know for sure whether they would approve you is to apply. At the Yukon Project, we've tried to make shopping around easy. If you go to our Marketplace page, you can apply to any one of our featured lenders. Behind the scenes, we will check your rate with up to 40 other lenders. Our partners use a soft credit check, so applying won't hurt your credit. We will present you with all of your approved offers so you can choose the loan that works best for you. If you have experience with Integra Credit, leave a comment below so others can know what to expect. We're trying to build a community of people who can help each other know how to achieve their financial goals. If you found this information useful, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. It helps us out and we really appreciate it. Thanks for watching.